We are working developing news. Former Red Sox superstar David Ortiz is in stable condition tonight after being shot in the back outside a bar in the DR over the weekend. He's expected to be flown to Boston for further care. Here's what we know right now. The Red Sox plane has landed in the Dominican Republic and Ortiz will be flown back on that. He's expected to leave the hospital shortly. Now doctors removed Ortiz's gallbladder and part of his intestine. He is expect to make, expected to make a full recovery. CBS News is reporting the suspected shooter Eddie Feliz Garcia is in custody and that they're looking for a second suspect. Reaction and well wishes for a big poppy continue to pour in tonight with the Boston Red Sox speaking just about an hour ago. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin's live in Boston with what the team is saying tonight. Eric? Well, Mike and Shannon, someone who is much bigger than baseball, someone who loves millions and is loved by millions, that's what people are saying about David Ortiz. People have been sending out tweets and well wishes of support and a speedy recovery since the news broke late last night. Big Poppy is a household name around New England. He won three World Series with the team, playing here from 2003 to 2016. Team executives took some time this afternoon sending their best to Big Poppy, saying how much he means to the organization and New England. We just heard from Red Sox manager Alex Cora, who was teammates with Ortiz on the Red Sox when both were players. One thing about David, you know, he, he's strong, he has no fear, he never showed weaknesses. So, because of that reason, the Lord will be with him. For us that believe, you know, uh, just pray for him. David Ortiz is one of the most celebrated and beloved members of the Red Sox family. On behalf of our entire organization, our thoughts and our prayers are with David. And during his career in Boston, Ortiz also spent some time with the Pawtucket Red Sox. Coming up new at 6, hear from team execs there. Live in Boston, I'm Eric Alperin, Eyewitness News.